It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm super excited to bring you a beer today from Deeds Brewing Company in Australia. That is right up my street. Now if I was to guess the style of beer with this one, they called it a dark wheat. So they're pointing me in that direction anyway. But I would say like a Dunkel Weiss, Dunkel Weiss beer. I don't have enough Dunkel Weiss beers in my life. It's one of my favourite styles of beer. This is called, and excuse my pronunciation, Schadenfreude. It says on the back of the can, pleasure derived by someone from another person's misfortune. So it's a bit like if you see someone being silly and then the next thing you know they trip up and fall in the pavement. You have a little giggle to yourself, you know. You probably shouldn't. You probably shouldn't. You should probably cross the road and help them out. But if they're being an idiot and a bit of a clown and then they fall over, you know, you have a little bit of a giggle, don't you? Um, it's it, it's what makes us human beings. Uh, this is a dark wheat beer then. They call it dark wheat. It's 5% ABV. It's in a 440 milliliter can. It's a limited edition brew uh, sent by Trav in Australia. And he sent these beers, especially a lot of the Deeds beers in this particular box that he sent in August. Well, we received it in August. He probably sent it in July from 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 Australia. Uh, we got a nice tall vice beer style glass to use here. Oh, look at this! I mean, when I say Dunkel, Dunkel vice, I mean, look at that! <laughs> I don't think I've ever said stone the crows before I've even put the, my nose to the beer. But that looks fantastic. Fantastic. Three finger tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation. You can see the little bits of yeast that have made their way to the bottom. Little bits of sediment. They've made their way to the bottom of the glass there. And then they're like, they're like causing this got a reaction in the side of the glass to create all that carbonation, especially that spot there. Look at that. So the reason why you saw, sent me all of these Deeds Brewing Company beers is because sadly, uh, Deeds Brewing Company are no more. Um, they, they made some, I, I'd say, well, they won many awards in Australia. They were voted in the top three of Australian craft breweries for a number of years in a row, in the top three, because they were just, they were brewing great beer. Uh, I think they got caught up in the whole 2019 situation. What was going on there, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. Um, and... They couldn't. They couldn't get up the other side of it. They couldn't get up the side. The other side of that whole twenty nineteen thing, um, which is very sad, really, because they were a great brewery. Uh, they, 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 they managed to keep going until twenty twenty three at least. So aroma on this lovely looking beer then. Dark wheat with a big banana on the. The front of the can. Yeah, it's quite. It's not as banana like in the in the aroma as I would have probably liked, but that might be locked into the flavour of the beer. What you're picking up is more dark malt. You're picking up roastiness. You're picking up a bit of that kind of roasted malt that they've used in the beer. You're picking up a slight kind of estery kind of fruity flavour there. You never know, it might be banana flavour. I doubt it. 
I doubt it very much. Especially being called dark weeds. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, interesting. Really interesting because... Hmm. Maybe some of that. No, it doesn't look like, does it? Right. Hmm. You got the banana, you got the dark wheat. It was really kind of like edging towards what I was thinking was going to be a dunkel vice. But on the first taste, it's not really. Hmm. It, it, it tastes like a mild. It tastes like a British mild, to be honest. Maybe, maybe this beer, and I, I mean this with the greatest of respects, maybe the beer's been lost in translation, but I doubt it. I doubt it because, of course, the Australians are going to know what, what a Dunkel Vice is, what Vice beer is. Of course they're going to know. It's not, it, it can't be lost in translation. You know, this is a German style of beer and, you know, they brew it in Australia. That, that's what I mean by lost in translation. It can't be that because they must, they must have vice beer in, in, in Australia. They must. Maybe, maybe they've not used enough of that German yeast strain. Maybe they've not used enough of that estuary German yeast to get that kind of banana flavour through because I'm not really getting any banana at all. Unless, because this beer, or this brewery has been out of existence for a while. Ah, right. Right, it was packaged in May 23. May 2023, I'm standing here drinking this beer in end of August, early September 2024. So we're talking about what, 16 months it's been in the can. 16 months it's been in the can, so perhaps it, it's a case of it's been in the can a little bit too long, but I've had German Weiss beer that, that, that's been quite old before and, and it still holds on to that banana-y, yeasty flavour. But, but maybe the, this particular beer has evolved in the can slightly differently, which I suppose is a shame because it, it's not really offering me what is said on the side of the can. If you do have a can of this, this might have been the last can in the world maybe i don't know um take it take it as a dark mild now don't think of it as dark wheat dark dark vice beer dunkel vice beer think of it as, as more of a dark mild like a london mild it's like biscuity and bready and nutty and mild like it's a bit if that was called mild on the side of the can I'd, I'd be raving about it but i can't rave about it because it's meant to be a dark wheat it's meant to be a wheat beer um so i'm conflicted so i'm going to give this beer two ratings as it is as it's tasting it's fine it's drinking like a mild so my first rating is yeah, it's a good beer. It's 8 out of 10. But my second rating, and that's the rating of is it a, a, a dark wheat beer, I'm going to have to say no on that on that front. There's no banana flavour. 
there's no Dunkel Vice like flavors coming through, so I'm gonna have to give it like a five out of 10. It's evolved into something else, basically. This beer has evolved into something else. I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much to Trav for sending. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.